Hello there, new day, a new project. You see, I have this uh, external uh, hard drive. In fact, it's an external enclosure for hard drives, for hard disks. In fact, uh, it's a uh, USB 2, but it's still alive and uh, you may say it's old and doesn't really uh, worth it. But it's a very good uh, piece of equipment. Okay, so uh, we have the, the main circuit here. It's a uh, GM20337 uh, and that's the one you know doing all this mambo jumbo and uh, I have to tell you that I'm using this one for backup reasons so I really don't care if it's not fast enough you know like today's standards but it's USB 2 and it's very very useful so this is just a backup disk and look what's happening I'm connecting the disk I can hear the disk spinning I can feel the disk I can hear the disc spinning, I have the LED running, but there is no connection, it's not registering with Windows. You see, we should hear the magic sound. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. I don't know what's happening in here. I suspect maybe one of these uh, connector pins are desoldered or something. Anyway, I have to check it and trying to make it alive again because like I said before I use this one for backup reasons I can see here some debris well we even have a parallel port so I can use the old style discs if I want it's good also for you know for uh, experimenting with old systems and stuff like this finally it's a good uh, enclosure to have it around I'm gonna try to check all the connections so we have all this here and this is flux, liquid flux. The power connector here went broke a while ago, but I really don't need that anymore because today all the USB ports are powerful enough to supply the energy for the hard drive. I mean, uh, some old uh, 1.0 USB wasn't capable enough for supplying the, the power, so you had to have an extra connector powering the things. Okay, so we had flux. Let me connect my soldering iron, TS100 with 350 degrees. And let's try to make all these pins connected here. This is ground. Another ground connection, it shouldn't be a problem. And I got another three independent swan. So that's for the main connector. I think it's good enough. Let me see the USB. Yes, it's looking very good over there. Let me see these things over here. Do we have a short or anything? Yeah, I think it's a little bit too much soldier here everything is fine everything is looking okay all right let's have a try okay let's connect it the disc is spinning the power on it's running but the same story okay let i i have a crystal here let me check if we have anything on that crystal if the if the circuit is working so we should have a kind of signal over there so let's check the crystal and that should uh, give me a hint about um, the state of, uh, of the electronics is it working do we have a ground here yes power on and i think this is the crystal yes it's working. Look there. 12 megahertz. So I think the electronic is working. Maybe I should check every pin of the circuit here. But for now, let's have a closer inspection of the board. The connector looks all right. We have power. We have oscillating frequency. The chip is okay. 
we have here something missing this one it's a c7 let me have a photo is it missing so far i can see two things over here first of all we have a c7 here that should be a capacitor and it's nothing there is it in parallel with C14? Let's check that out. Yes. But not here. Oh yeah, this one is to the ground. Okay, so I'm not sure, but as long as this capacitance is on, it's related to the ground, that should be a, some kind of decoupling capacitance so I don't think it's so important but we should try to see what's happening if we have one of these uh, okay and anything missing and I have something else missing over here and this is this is very clean was it here something before? C10 over here, C15, C4, and FB1. Was that a FB? What it can be? Do we have anything like that? Oh yes, look here, FB4, FB3. Is this a resistor or it's zero ohms? I think this is a filter 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 and the capacitance and we have a filter over here let me see if I can find a filter to replace or to just to fit it in there so I've been looking all around my my uh, spare boards and for for a part like that for a filter I think it's a filter let me see on ohms how much how many ohms do we have on one of these filters yes so it's it's totally totally short cut it you know something i'm gonna try something uh like having a trap a piece just a piece of wire okay let me start just a very thin piece of wire because it, it, when I measure it, it gave me a very clear short. Let's prepare the pads here. Okay, now, okay. Let's cut that down with this nail cutter continuity mode. So once again, we have this here, short FP4 and FP3, and this is an FP1. Perfect. I'll connect now the disc to the laptop and let's see what's happening and then I'll go if it's not working then I'll go to have also a capacitance over here but this this one I'm pretty sure it's just for decoupling let me turn it like this because I want to hear the disk okay the computer is ready it's spinning that's it the magic sound so let me see the hard disk is working yes people so my old enclosure it's back to work maybe what what have i done oh it's back oh yes of course no the connector it's okay okay guys so problem solved and i'm really happy to have this one back on on the track 
and I think that's it for today. Please like and subscribe and don't uh, forget to comment. I like to hear your ideas about this and uh, see you soon with some other projects. Don't forget to have fun and be well. Bye bye.